So in many ways, I think I and others in the environmental movement failed, failed to shift the frame or the way that we see the world. And so the underlying root causes of our destructiveness haven't been dealt with. Welcome back to Byline. I'm Brian Lilly. What's there to say that hasn't already been said about David Suzuki's wacky old man mind? Not much, but all good things have to come to an end. And that's why Mr. Suzuki has launched what he promises will be his last cross-country tour to promote his super liberal drivel. The tour called the Blue Dot Tour is being touted as the most important thing Suzuki's ever done. But it all starts with you. Sun News columnist uh, Eric DeHame joins us now from Montreal with the latest. Uh, Eric, he's, he's going to Montreal first, I think, hoping yep. that uh, you guys will be much more open to his message than uh, maybe elsewhere in the country. Uh, well, are you enjoying Suzuki? You have to know one thing. David Suzuki is not as well known, obviously, in French Canada because uh, he was not on French CBC uh, for all those years. So he's not somebody very well known. He's more known uh, among environmental activists. But uh, in the general population, he's not that well known. Uh, the only thing we know is that he comes once in a while. Last time he came, I don't know if you remember, our friend Ezra talked a lot about it. It cost like $41,000 yeah, at uh, John, John Abbott College. John Abbott College, one of the Anglo colleges on the West Island. Absolutely. And also, that's when he asked for specific uh, female bodyguards. <laughs> Remember those? <ones>? Yeah, <laughs> that story as well. Attractive young ladies, I think. Absolutely. Yes. So now he's back, and this time he wants to amend the constitution, and he wants us to diminish our consumption and try to make us feel guilty. So I think it's important that uh, the media, French media, especially since he's not known at all here, know about what's going on. And uh, that's why over the last week I had a lot of problems with uh, the environmental activists reminding people who is David Suzuki, because people here uh, in Quebec don't know that he so owns four properties, don't, one valued at over $8 million. I mean, the guy makes <laughs> comes here to lecture us and tell us, no, no, but it's true, Brian, he comes here to tell us that we need to consume less and make us feel guilty because we consume, because we, you know, we don't turn off the, 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 the heat when we go into bed or all sorts of crazy stuff like that. But the guy is a multimillionaire capitalist when he, he's managing his own assets. But when he's talking in public, he's, he sounds like a communist. I think that at one point you have to walk the walk and talk the talk. And unfortunately, in my book, David Suzuki is kind of an intellectual fraud uh, at a certain extent. Uh, I have nothing against people who are multimillionaire who own four properties. I wish you and I and everybody who's watching tonight has the same. That's not my problem. My problem is that you cannot do that in your personal life and then try to lecture people to do the exact opposite for in their lives. Well, it, you know, and it's interesting that uh, you say uh, he's on this tour again and he's going to Montreal first yep. and people don't know him. So I, I, I'm glad that you're on your radio show in French Quebec saying, here's what you need to know about him. I remember a few years ago, David Suzuki came to Parliament Hill and made this big to-do about how He's not going to be traveling anymore. He kept saying, no, this is the last time you'll see Suzuki. I have to lower my carbon footprint. Meanwhile, he's been across the country several times on tours like this. He did a school tour. He's done media tours. He's been to Australia several times, and he still does it. And now he's saying, well, we need to, we need to be so strict that we enshrine this in, in our Constitution. Here's, here's his quote on putting the environment in the Constitution. Yeah. We're long overdue to enshrine this idea of a healthy environment in our Constitution. And it's not a radical thing. 110 countries in the world have, uh, have it enshrined in their Constitution or legal system. So he wants clean air, clean water, these things that we all want. I don't know yeah, anyone that wants that? dirty water. He wants it enshrined in our Constitution so that then he can go and challenge the government on whatever he wants. And those smokestacks you saw at the beginning, which Absolutely. were actually putting out clean smoke, that was steam coming out of a factory that employs people. He would be able to use the Constitution to shut down jobs in this country. That's what he wants, Eric. Absolutely. That's what's scary about it. Uh, I mean, as you said, it's not a political ideology to want to drink uh, water that is clear and to make sure that you breathe air that is not polluted. I mean, everybody wants that on Earth. Uh, we're no exception. Uh, but he's all, all, uh, obviously trying to use that to then have a framework, a legal framework, where he could keep pushing his environmental activism. Uh, we know what he could do against our natural resources. All the people who work in those industries in Canada could talk about the threat that represents David Suzuki's ideology. 
ideology and, and that's exactly what's so scary about it I mean it's always you know the devil's in the detail and here he's trying to push it a little step further to make sure it's a constitutional right and that as soon as we're gonna put that in the Constitution he's gonna be in front of the Supreme Court uh, uh, trying to shut down all sorts yeah. of factories or let, industries let, let me ask you about this Eric we got 30 seconds left this is a guy who's coming across the country going to a yeah. town near you is he bringing scientists with them or musicians no, it's a it's artist and it's poli it's political speech and that's what's dangerous about David Suzuki. I was listening, I was watching today, believe it or not, the French Weather Channel and they were talking about his events. What the heck is this? There's and it, it's like a family event and they present it like it's something you know like everybody could agree with and it's natural. No, it's not. It, D David Suzuki has a very radical political agenda and fortunately people like you, Brian, are there to reveal it to the public because some others are sleeping. Nobody's talking about. Uh, uh, who David Suzuki is truly. All right, Eric, great talking as always. Enjoy having Suzuki in your hometown. <laughs> we'll send you back next week to your country, ciao. <laughs>